Whoa, I look rough. Ha! <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's go ahead and change that right now. And there we go. Okay. Well, I look way better than right now. <laughs> At least I just did my face, washed it, moisturized it, and um, picked up my hair. <laughs> better. Did my hair up in a bun, as you can see and put some coconut oil in it since I am going to have a very chill day, cozy day. As you can, I just put on a different hoodie because if your question is why does she have a hoodie on if she's not outside, she's at home. Well, the thing is my heater hasn't been turned on yet because the heater guy hasn't have time to turn it on. <laughs> So, I've been, I've actually been loving wearing hoodies inside. I don't know, I just feel extra cozy. And also, I am not cold, or as cold. <laughs> uh, but we do have some like heaters in the house so it could keep us warm. Um, yeah, so it's gonna be a cozy day. I am just going to chill because work has been so rough. I work at a retail store and it is, yeah. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to chill, maybe just watch some YouTube as I always do. <laughs> I'm watching Mitch and Scott Superfruit right now. I've been binge watching literally like the whole day. <laughs> um, and maybe watch some Netflix and make myself some coca chocolate uh drink coca coca drink chocolate uh chocolate milk no <laughs> what's it called like the chocolate flavored create hot coca mix there we go <laughs> these and just chill maybe edit my uh vlogmas week three um because i am behind sorry <laughs> busy schedule and yeah but it's gonna be up it's gonna be up um and yeah i've been craving wine so much during this holiday season i have no idea why um but hopefully if my mom comes back early um i could go ahead and go or i can ask her <laughs> if she could bring some <laughs> uh, but yeah it's good i would go out to like the fountains or somewhere uh, but my car hasn't been working lately or it's been working very it's having its difficulties and I don't want to drive in it anymore. It's like a bit dangerous now. But yeah, so I've been having to ask my mom to take me to places. Or if she's not busy, then I could use a car. But yeah, that's the situation right now. Do I look like a banana? <laughs> it literally made me think of a banana because I have like bananas right next to me. And I'm looking at the viewfinder that I'm yellow. If you guys could not even guess, yes, my favorite color is yellow. <laughs> but yeah, I'll go ahead and let you guys know, catch you guys up if I do anything more interesting than right now. Oh, wait. Okay, so, yes, was it yesterday or the day before? Mm, as soon as I woke up, I saw this can of cookies in my kitchen and it brought so many little bit it brought so many memories from when i was little who else's parents had this can of cookies and filled it up with a yarns and pieces and you got there and you're like oh my god yes cookies and they weren't cookies they were yarns and pieces and pieces <laughs> and pieces in it and it brought so many memories and i was like what <laughs> but yeah thank 
god it was cookies because i was about to be so upset i can't open it with one hand <laughs> but yeah as you could tell we've almost finished them <laughs> and this one would have to be my favorite it's almost gone there's just two more left <laughs> yeah i'm usually not picky about food but it's some of them have like coconut flavored like cookie and i don't like coconut i mean it's okay but if i have to choose no coconut in my food whatsoever any desserts no thank you um yeah anything that has mustard bologna or coconut <sighs> no i don't like them i'm usually not picky like usually if you put anything on my plate i would eat it and like finish it demolish it but anything that has that uh no thank you but yeah go ahead and comment down below if you are one of me one of us because i know there are some people that had those parents that had yarn yarns bits and pieces and were disappointed <laughs> when they saw this <laughs> when they saw the yarns and pieces not cookies <laughs> Oh my god. Best they always die. Okay, I'm watching Zoe. Zoe's vlogs. And guys, the light, the lighting is so bad right now. <laughs> my lighting is so bad. But it doesn't matter. Look how the light of the sun is glowing through my window. Can you guys see? No, you guys can't see that one. But it's literally like pink. And look at it when. Oh my god. It's blooming pretty. Can it focus? It's so pink. And no, it's not giving it justice. Look. Oh. Blum, blimey. It's so pretty. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't. If you really know me, you know that I love the lighting. <laughs> if you really know me, you really know that that I love sunsets and sunrises. I can't choose which one I love the most, but yeah, I I actually want to get a tattoo of the moon and the sun but i want it simple i don't want it like like artsy and and fancy and i don't want it big either i think i want it on my wrist too and just like black just the black tint black ink oh well, yeah i don't know if you guys might be interested of me maybe talking about my tattoo maybe i should talk about it right now now that I don't know what okay, I'm literally like literally on the floor because I do have one it says ambition and it's so simple and next to my other mole over here yeah it's so simple it says ambition and it's it, it actually looks bigger on camera than it is I don't know so this tattoo that I have it, I got it what like three months ago and um i got it because i literally i had it in mind for the longest time <laughs> and i knew i wanted a tattoo i just i had several things that i wanted and i knew that i want a very simple yet um, bold and powerful um tattoo i knew i wanted the the word ambition because of my brother my older brother robert he has an ambition tattoo in his back and i really look up to him and he's such an amazing guy and he's been through so much that i really really admire him 
and it was, I guess it was like paying homage to him but also because I know that I am also a strong person and I I feel like if I'm down or if anything hard happens I know that I am capable of just like turning it around and like like if something is bringing me down I'll do whatever it takes for me mentally and emotionally to just not affect me in that way because I know if I paid attention I'm just gonna break down <laughs> like a bridge um, but yeah like my brother has been through so much too that I really admire him and I'm very thankful for for him to be my brother um, because I really look up to him and I feel like we're the same too like if anything good happens <sighs> We're not that type of like, look, look, you know, like, I, I don't know, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so it was kind of an homage to him. Um, but for me, it means drive. It means um, like ambition, that drive for myself to accomplish whatever it is. Um, I put my mind into and in life you know like in life you have to have ambition because we are so tiny in this world and our time is so small that it it's exciting in a way at least for me it's exciting to be living because I know there is so much in this world that we could do and I'm excited for things to happen and for me to actually accomplish goals that I have and to welcome anything that comes. If it's good, if it's bad, I'll get through it. I'll get through anything that's bad. I'll I'll give myself props if it's I do something good. Um, and family and friends, you know, like you have to be in that little bubble of people that really make you a better person too um and i i i really believe i do have that and yeah like it was just i knew i wanted that word specific word too um but it was just like it was a process to to have the font also like which font do i want i had found one and I had it in my wallpaper screensaver uh, in my phone and without knowing when I went to this tattoo artist it was actually the same font that I had on my phone so I was like what like that's crazy honestly I thought it was mind-blowing because I didn't I didn't think of it like that's the one you know and I wanted it all caps I wanted it plain simple because I not not to like what's it called um, not to talk bad or put down anyone that has like amazing art I really appreciate art and anything that has to do with tattoo artists too because oh my god it's amazing um, but I just wanted something plain and simple just but still with a powerful ump you know like with a powerful punch and yeah, ever since I got it, I have been having like a few comments like, oh my god, that's so cool. Actually, the first week that I got it, um, since I'm in retail, um, they would see my tattoo and they're like, oh shoot, that, that's cool. Like, Or they would ask me why and yeah, I would really appreciate it. And yeah, actually, I'll go ahead and um, put down below the information for that tattoo artist that helped me get this tattoo um it's such an awesome shop too they do piercings they do tattoos um but yeah i might go back there later not soon but i don't have in mind to actually go back soon and um and get another tattoo like i said i have like five ideas that I want but 
I mean, I could wait. I, I have no rush. Um, yeah, that's a little bit of my backstory in this tattoo. I felt like I wanted to do like a main channel, make vi main video for my tattoo, but why not just chat? <laughs> I'm actually a I'm about to make something that's might be a very weird concoction <laughs> food. <laughs> But I'm, I don't, I'm not hungry, but I'm just like picky. What I am about to show you might be a little bit disturbing, but it tastes good to me. So I'll go ahead and show you guys the final food that I'm gonna eat. What the final, whatever. I'll show you right now in a little bit. <laughs> Ooh, no, this looks rank. <laughs> but. Oh, yeah, kind of, sort of. Okay, so I made uh, some corn with some drizzled cheese on top of it. A um, bit of butter and a drizzle of soy sauce. I'm going to go ahead and eat it with some tostadas. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I, I've actually never done this. But I mean, I thought it would taste good, and for my um, my little uh, since I'm I don't know what I'm saying. I just thought it would be a good little nice snack. Maybe not healthy, but it's just a snack. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I hate this lighting. literally looking for anything anything and everything that can actually use for a tripod okay so I oh! maybe not